morning, everybody. Well, we're going to start working on the brakes. Let's get into it. Let's start by having a look at the brake assembly. It's a drum type brake. It's got its own built in return spring wrapped around the shaft there. And you can see that right here is where you connect your linkage. So we're going to start there and work forward. So what I decided to do is I have an old brake cable. It came off either the Kawasaki Bayou or the Big Red. I can't remember which one it came off of, but it's seized up inside the housing and I have soaked it with oil and all kinds of stuff for as long as I've had it and I cannot get it to uh, start moving again. So it's a lost cause, you know. It's been sitting in there with oil soaking on it for a year and it hasn't come free. And no matter how much I pull and push on it, it's 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 done, you know. It's just it will not freaking move inside this housing. It must be rusted or something, you know what I mean? And it's a shame because it's a great cable. But uh the bonus is it came with the return spring helper, the barrel that fits the brake shoes on the bike, and this awesome looking little uh, wing nut for adjustments. Alright, so we're all on board with that, right? Cool. So what I've decided to do is to unscrew this <laughs> while you patiently wait. Take that back off. To cut this. Cut that cable off right there. And I have a three foot length of quarter inch rod. I'm going to weld that threaded end to this rod. And that'll, that barrel fits that brake assembly perfectly. So uh, that's where I'm going to start. And then we'll have the attachment there. And then we just got to figure out what we're going to do on the other end. So, bear with me while I do that, and then we'll take it from there. All right, so what I've done is I took a pair of vice grips, needle nose vice grips, and pulled that rubber housing back out of the way. Plugged my little cutoff tool into my new extension cord. Yay. New extension cord end, I should say. I just swapped that out because it was uh, always coming unplugged. It was just wore out. So anyway, and it works. So basically, now that I have that back out of the way, I'm just going to cut the cable off of this uh, fitting. That's what I like about that little cutoff tool. It's a zipper. It's like a giant Dremel. <laughs> All right. Clean that little booger off of there a little bit. And... Uh, Weld that to the end of the rod. Yeah. I ran a nice little chamfer around that. Just hope, so I hopefully can get some good penetration and actually get a good bond. Because, you know, this is going to be my brake, so I do not want that coming apart because i got a crappy weld on it. All right. Just letting you know. So I think you can see what I got set up there. That's my little vise for my drill press, just to hold that rod where I want it. And... I turned the wire speed on my welder down just a hair because I want to get good penetration but I don't want a bunch of splatter and I'm just going to hold it and zap it. So let's go. Got nothing to lose. I got some place to rest my hand. It may not be perfectly centered, 
but I believe it's going to hold. I'm just going to turn it over and get the other side. Yeah, it moved a little bit on me. It's okay. As long as it holds together, it'll be fine. Splatters are sounding like uh, some sort of firework, something. Uh, I can't remember the name of the particular thing, old jumping jack bennies or something like that. I don't know why it's doing that. Probably got something to do with the metal that that nut is made out of. Get some more over on this side. Don't take much. I'm going to put a little extra on there just because I want to make sure. You build something like this, you never know who's going to end up riding it because you may not have it forever, you know. These things do get passed down. So even if you don't care about your own safety, think about the safety of somebody else that may be riding it someday. Anyway, that looks pretty pretty good. I'll let that cool for a minute. I'll clean it up, and then I'll see what we can do about the other end. Uh oh, boys, he's going through the bucket. You know what that means? He's looking for inspiration and creative ideas. He's got a bunch of the old turf surfer parts and a bunch of the old go-kart parts sorted out there he's thinking about. Uh, he's brainstorming. <laughs> it's all part of the process, man. Well, you know, sometimes you hit a wall and you just can't go forward, so you gotta back up and just think about things. Well, that's what happened. Uh, I got the brake shaft put together but I haven't come up with the pedal solution yet and I was thinking about those footboards that I put on yesterday and uh, as cool as they looked and as comfortable as they were I got to thinking those would be perfect for highway cruising but let's face it this is a mini bike chances are it's going to be off-road most of the time At least that's what it's designed for. And anybody that's ever rode motorcycles knows when you go over rough terrain, you stand up on your feet, you know, and let your legs be suspension. And the way they were, they were so far forward, I wouldn't be able to stand up on them. So I cut them off and I moved them back like five inches. But the nice thing about it is, with these footboards, being as big as they are, I can put my feet wherever I want, you know, but if I need to stand up, I'll be able to. So yeah, that's what I did there, and uh, I think it'll be better, and it's still comfortable, and uh, just got to figure out what I'm going to do for that brake pedal. <laughs> I got some ideas, but nothing's materializing yet. I'll let you know what it does. Well, I got a mess out here now. I got stuff everywhere. 
All right, here's what my game, my game plan or plan of attack is. I wanted to use this rod that comes out and holds the footboards for a pivot point for my brake pedal. But I didn't have a collar that would fit around that particular 7 8 inch tubing. So, after much thought and, you know, mine travels elsewhere, and other things, I keep coming back to that. So what I did is, I took a piece of this one and a eighth inch tubing, or pipe, because it's got a seam in it, so it's not DOM, but uh, I've slipped it in my little vise here and I cut it, and I cut that little seam out of it because I wanted to get rid of that for sure. And then I cut it in two other places and then cleaned it up with the uh, flap disc and I put them around a piece of this 7 inch tubing if you can see what I'm trying to show you here it's a little bit rough but I can take a file to the inside of that when I get it done anyway and I welded them back together to make a collar. Now I just haven't tack welded right now because that's as far as I've gotten. But that's the plan. That's going to be my collar for my foot pedal. I'm going to weld the seams up better and then I'll grind it down to where it's not quite so ugly. It'll still be ugly but it won't be so ugly. <laughs> and then I'll make my pedal and weld it to this. And uh, yeah, as they say, Bob's your uncle. That's the way I'm going to do that. So. But I'm tag teaming it because I'm over there. I don't know if you can smell that. Got a big old rack of ribs barbecuing. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? There they are. So I'm having to babysit those while I come back and forth and do this. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm up to. So once I get this welded, then I'll have to sit down and draw out my pedal. I'm going to cut it out of the same 8 inch plate steel and uh, I got a nifty idea for that. I think I haven't fine tuned it yet, but that's that's the direction I'm going. So, I'll show you more when I get it. <laughs> Look at this mess. Jeez, they got stuff everywhere. <laughs> Alright fellas, here we go. Here's the piece I welded together, as ugly as it is. I need to clean it up yet. I'm just showing you that it does in fact work. It spins pretty well actually. And considering it only has to go a little bit, I think that'll be fine. And uh, it doesn't have any sideways slot, not enough to be a problem. Maybe a coat of grease inside it would be good, but I may need to file off on the inside just a wee bit. It's not perfectly round either, but it, it grabs pretty good. And I've drawn out my template for the actual pedal. Where it's kind of crude. I overdid that a little bit. I had to not cut it out that big, but it'll fit on there. This part will be folded over to make the actual pedal. This will just be the linkage. And this will be what connects to the shaft that goes back to the brake. I'm going to draw that out, cut it out and stuff. If these sirens would stop, <laughs> I guess I'm done. <laughs> All right, I'll show you what I get it done. <laughs> you guys see that? Uh, 
That's actually a picture of my go-kart that's on my computer in the house. That's my, that's my screensaver in there playing. Uh, what the real deal is, is it's dark outside. There is the moon. There's the shop. Let's go in here and I'll show you what I got done. All right, here is that bushing that I made. Now I've cleaned all the, I just took the sanding disc off that to make sure there's no burrs on it. And I cleaned this up. Maybe I should go like this so you can actually see what I'm trying to show you. But anyway, all this has got to do is spin like a quarter turn. And it's going to be fine. <clears throat> This is the actual pedal. And it's uh, needs a little bit more fine tuning, but as far as I got, I couldn't see what I was doing, so I quit. And this will be right in there. There's a sweet spot on there somewhere that matches really nicely. I think that's about as good as it gets right there. And I'll weld that right in the center. straight up and down. My attachment from here will come off and this will be able to pivot and the shaft that goes to the rack brake will be hooked to that. This part here will actually be bent right here. This will fold over to make a place to put your foot so it'll actually be like that and I guess you can see what that shape is supposed to be. <laughs> it's kind of supposed to represent a stop sign. But, and it may, by the time I get it bent, it just looks oblong because I cut it this way. Just because to make it fit the bike. Anyway, it's dark and I'm done. So, that being said, let me wish you all a good night. Good night. And hope you had a great day. Hope you have a better day tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate that. And... Next time, we should be able to see the brake thing actually materialized and uh, be moving on to other things, which God knows there's a lot to do, right? I mean, getting really close to actually being able to ride it. Uh, waiting on some throttle cables. Only need one, but I got a couple coming. Because uh, I tend to always have problems with throttle cables. It's like if I buy one, it breaks or I break it. So I need two, and that way if I buy two, the first one will work. <laughs> See my logic there? And I got a backup. And uh, actually, yeah, the brakes and the throttle cable. I got a place for my feet now, so should be able to ride it at that point. Uh, of course, it's far from being done. There's a lot of little things I still have to do. I got to put the Kickstarter on it. Got to find a place for a battery. Once I tear it down for paint, I gotta go through the motor and do some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna put a. I'll tell you about it later. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you. Bye bye.